Hi, my name's Penny, and as usual, I'm here to talk about some bookish things. Specifically, today we're going to be doing a book haul. I don't often do book hauls because I don't tend to buy that many books. However, I did last week go to a $1 book sale and I bought a few. Also, I've just been accumulating a few books here and there since Christmas time and I thought I would go through them with you. Now, I've divided them into four piles here. You can't see them, but I'll show you soon. Uh, we've basically got free books, $1 books, $2 books, and then one book that I actually spent $18.69 on at Book Depository because I decided that I really wanted it. And of course, because I live in New Zealand, it took like a month to turn up, but it did eventually turn up, so that's nice. Uh, anyway, let us start with the free books that I got. So firstly, I did get two books for Christmas. I forget if I already mentioned them in a vlog somewhere, maybe. Um, I got The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton. So this is a book that I have already read, but I'm excited to have the hardcover edition because I know it has this Cluedo-style map in the front. So what this story is, is you have this guy who wakes up with no memories and he slowly discovers that over the next seven days he needs to solve the murder of Evelyn Hardcastle. But every day he's going to wake up in the mind of a different person. So he's trying to figure out who the murderer is, but he also isn't quite sure which of the other people is actually just another version of himself. It's really strange and I really want to give this a reread at some point. Then also my brother got for me this horror manga type story, Fragments of Horror by Junji Ito, um, which I think I've heard about since then as an author who does a whole bunch of freaky stuff. Um, just looks kind of like that. Some of it looks kind of gross. And um, what I especially like about this book is like under the cover it kind of looks like this but and it's impossible to show you on the camera pretty much but if you look at it at an angle the picture that's underneath you can actually see it's like imprinted on the cover. I doubt you can see. Oh you can kind of see it right? Can you? I'm not sure. Anyway, I think it's really cool. My brother got it for me. I actually have it on my TBR for February, so hopefully I will be reading that super soon or I'm behind on everything. Then I also, while I was away over Christmas, found this little library and I picked up this random Sweet Belly High book uh, all night long, number five. Uh, I started reading it and I realized these are really short, quick reads, so. Uh, I haven't read it, but at some point I want to try and put a whole bunch of Sweet Valley High books together and just read a whole bunch of them, you know, for the nostalgia of it all. I didn't read that many of these when I was a teen, but I did read a few, and I'm quite interested to see what my perspective of them would be like as an adult. Um, I suspect they're going to be really cringy. This guy, that guy, oh, he grosses me out. But also, this is like a book from 1984, so I guess... That look was fashionable at the time. Then I also stopped by this other campground just last week and there was an area where you could just put stuff that you thought other people might want to have rather than throwing it out. Uh, and there was this book there, The Lion Game by Ruth Weir. Now I don't think I've read anything by Ruth Weir, but I have heard of The Lion Game and I know Ruth Weir is a very popular author. Uh, and so I thought since it's free, why not? I do struggle with finding thrillers that I like. I'm pretty sure this is a thriller, but hopefully I'll like it. I read the back. It's about some um, friends who used to compete to try and convince people of outrageous stories and now 17 years later the truth that they've been hiding comes out. Ooh, uh, it's a thriller. Hopefully it's exciting. So those are all my free books. Let's move on to one dollar books. Now one, two, three, four, five, six of these are all Sweet Valley High books because I went to this $1 book sale and I saw all of these and I thought if I'm going to do that Sweet Valley High reread at some point then here's a whole bunch for quite cheap that I could add to that list. I don't really remember whether, like I've definitely read number two, Secrets, but I'm not sure. Oh, I'm pretty sure I read Bitter Rivals, number 29 when I was a teen. I'm not sure I read Caught in the Middle. Um, kidnapped by the cult or even out of reach and I'm not sure about having read this thriller on the run 
Wow, now that that cicadas just stopped singing, I've realized how loud that was, so I wonder if it will be on the video. If it is, apologies, the cicadas are quite crazy at the moment in New Zealand, uh, because it's summer and they're desperate to, like, have babies before they die. Anyway, got lots of Sweet Valley High books. Uh, I also found this Anastasia On Your Own by Lois Lowry. The Anastasia books were ones that I read when I was like 10-ish and I really enjoyed them and then when I was about 20 I refound the whole series and reread them and I really enjoyed the reread and I thought oh well I've reread them now I don't need these anymore and I got rid of them and now it's like another 20 years later and I'd really like to reread them again but I don't have them. Why did I get rid of them? I don't know but I saw this at the book fair for one dollar and I thought I would pick it up. I don't really remember now much about it except that Anastasia is just like a very unique kind of crazy personality always getting herself into trouble uh, and in this one perhaps she has this plan of becoming an actress. I don't know but I want to reread that and for a dollar why not. Then I also got Blindness by Jose Sara Saramago sorry about my pronunciation but I really love the movie Blindness it's got Julianne, Julianne Moore what's her name Julianne Moore in it and also that guy the Hulk and some other cool people in it um, it's a really good movie so I'm hoping that the book will also be really good basically in the movie everyone suddenly just starts going blind and they don't really know why but suddenly uh, it kind of spreads and then everyone's blind this doctor guy and also his wife are put in this like cell when they're trying to quarantine the disease but then of course it spreads further than that and so these people in quarantine are no longer getting food to deliver to them everyone's blind except for the doctor's wife never gets it she never goes blind and so she's helping all these blind people kind of navigate the difficulties of being blind as society kind of falls down around them as I said, I love the movie, so I'm really excited to read the book and give that a go. And then also I picked up Amy, My Daughter by Mitch Winehouse. So Amy Winehouse's father wrote this book. I watched a documentary a while ago on Amy Winehouse and I came away with the impression that her father was like a money-hungry jerk and not really a very good father. So I kind of feel like the fact that he's published a book uh, it's probably him trying to tell his side of the story, but also perhaps a play to get more money. I don't know. I'm going to read it and see what his perspective is. And that will be interesting to compare and contrast from the documentary's version of events. So, those are all the $1 books. Then we've got a few $2 books here. Uh, I went to this charity shop up in Whangarei when I was also traveling around over the summer. And there is this one that just has a massive section of books. And I was pretty good, pretty restrained, but I did buy three books. All kind of older fantasy books. So I did get Dragon Harper, A New Adventure of Pern by Anne and Todd McCaffrey. Uh, if you watch my channel, you know I'm trying to finish off reading the Pern series or at least get up to some of the ones written by Todd McCaffrey. Um, this is one that I am going to need to read in between some of the ones I already have so I thought I might as well get it. Also it's in really good condition for a $2 book. Then I also picked up Spirit Fox by Miki Zakarakert uh, and Jennifer Wingett. I've not noticed this lady's name at the bottom before but uh, Miki Zakarakert is an author who I've read stuff before and I really enjoyed it. I don't know anything about what this is about except that it's going to be a fantasy and she is spirit linked to a fox. So I guess we will see what I think of that when I get to that one. And then also I picked up Elvin Born by Mercedes Lackey and Andre Norton. This is the third book in the Half-Blood Chronicles and I read the Half-Blood Chronicles quite a long time ago. I don't really remember what it's about, this girl who discovers she's part elf. Uh, and there's all these wizards living underground from memory. Anyway, when I read it, I really liked it, so hopefully if I reread this series at some point, I will like it again. Um, I don't have the first or the second books, but I thought, again, since it's a pretty good condition of the third book and you don't see these around that much, I just thought I'd pick it up and maybe I'll try and collect the series by just like hoping that they magically come to me through thrift shops. 
Okay, so that's all the cheap books. I didn't really spend that much. Like, how many books? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 books for $15. That's pretty good, right? Although some of them are gifts. Is that cheating? No. Then we've got the one that I actually paid for, and that is The Obelisk Gate by N.K. Jemisin. So this is the sequel to the fifth season, which I read, I think, at the end of last year, and I really enjoyed it. It's kind of like this apocalyptic fantasy with this really crazy society and this really weird earth magic. I just, there's some parts that I really want to find out what's going to happen with. So I want to continue the series, and so I picked this one up. Uh, and unfortunately it didn't come in time for me to read it for Blackathon or Black History Month, but I have it now. So hopefully I'll be able to fit this into a TBR very soon because I'm the most excited to read this one. Anyway, that's my haul. Do let me know if you've read any of these books, what you thought about them, do you think I'm going to like them, or I guess some of them I already know I like, but let me know if you've read any of these books and what you think about them or whether you're interested in reading any of these books. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you're having a really wonderful day and I will see you next time.